collar tie hook sweep is a great alternative to a traditional hook sweep. Um, it can be used gi or no gi, it doesn't matter because I'm using the standard single collar tie with control of the arm, the way that I'm going to sweep him. The first time I saw this sweep be utilized effectively was watching Marcelo Garcia in competition as well as in his old club back in the day when I was, uh, I guess probably a blue or purple belt. And I just never seen this variation of a hook sweep before. And just seeing how simple it was, I just assumed that maybe I wouldn't be able to, to use it properly. But now it's one of my favorite sweeps, as long as you do it properly. Because if you mess this sweep up, you can end up in a bad position, which is flat on your back from a seated guard with someone passing you, which you don't really want. So it's important when you grab a single collar tie, don't grab the back of the neck. You always want to grab the crown of the head. If I grab the back of the neck and try and pull my partner down, they can still posture up. However, if I use the back of their head, so the end of the lever, if I can pull this down, if my partner tries to bring himself up, I can control his head a little better. So just make sure you're not just cuffing the back of the neck and getting your hand on the back. You always want it right on the back of the head. Now my other hand, I'm gonna to look to keep my elbow inside. I don't want my elbow winging up for this one because I'm eventually gonna fall to this side. So when I grab this grip, I grab just a monkey grip, fingers together on the tricep. And my goal is to, as I bring my elbow in, I wanna bring his arm in as, in as well. So his elbow needs to go to his stomach. Now, as far as using these together, my goal essentially is when I grab these grips, I'm gonna pull this arm in, and I'm gonna bring his ear to his bicep. So I get, this really great contact on his body, and I have a great uh, advantage in terms of being able to flip him over a little easier, as long as I make sure his head and his arm connect. If I don't create this connection, he can posture away from me, and it's gonna be really hard to pull him into me. However, when I approach this, when I sneak in, and I just grab both grips at the same time, and right away, crunch together, as soon as I have this posture on a person, and I can start to see the top of my own hand. It's very easy with my legs in a standard hook sweep formation to just hook with my foot, and I'm gonna fall to my shoulder, and I'm just gonna kick them over. And you can come up in a variety of ways. This is more just the entry, just as to how to knock them over with the single collar hook sweep. So we do it slowly in action. From out here, I'm gonna scoot myself in, so bring my hips forward. I'm gonna grab the collar tie and the tricep. And at the same time as I grab, I'm gonna squish them together. So I grab and I get inside. I control his head, his arms on the inside. My elbow also moves to the inside. Now, as much as I'm kicking with my foot, like a traditional hook sweep to knock him over, with my hands, as I push his head and his arm together, I'm just steering it like a wheel to bring him over to his side. Now when I scoot in, and I end up in this style position here. Now from here you can get up, like use this leg like a nice pendulum swing and come up. Um, you can jump into north-south. It really depends on how you wanna end the sweep. But do get this one a try, it works gi and no gi, and it is a great option to go to versus a traditional